I know you guys see that. Here's the thing. We here at the Lola Serve House, we like to pride ourselves on self-improvement, am I right? Yes, absolutely. Exactly. So today, and what we've been doing is practicing our reflexes and our little grabs here. And we got this little thing. Shout out to Noah. He got me one. He has one too. But I'm getting better. See those cat-like reflexes? Look at this. I don't miss. Look at that. <laughs> I do tricks too. <laughs> so guys, I got this boxing reflex ball. I saw people using this before. The whole point is to, when you're punching and stuff, expect to get counter punched to get punched back. So this practice is having something come back to your face. And yeah, like pretend those are like punches or whatever and you can always block. And good for like gross motor skills, reflexes. Damn, Rob, you practice more than me? Not really. <laughs> Damn, I'm still getting used to it because you gotta like, <laughs> when you look, put your head down, the ball goes down, but. Hey, why are you looking kind of buff right now? Oh, shoot. Wait a that. minute, Noah Boat? More like Noah Buff. Please clap. I'm still not good at it. I need like two weeks. Ooh, ooh. I love how we like have our hair. We have like long hair. <laughs> so just oh, a little just headband just, action. I told Rob I didn't want to start using these until we were really good at them, but I think it'll be cooler because then I can look back at this vlog and be like, damn. They I see suck. the progress. I really sucked. See the streak I can do though? It's kind of crazy. Like punch it hard, hard. <laughs> yeah, I think it's got to focus. Can't be overthinking it. This is how you really do it. I want to, I want to, okay. So this is what our, our evenings have come to? Yeah. Look, this is only up and up. Zach told us escapism, right? People use drugs, porn, uh, drinking to get away from reality. This is my escapism. This is fun. This is helping your reflexes. Wrong You're getting a workout in. I'm gonna do this all night. The goal is to treat this like this is a fly. Like you wanna, you see that fly? You wanna snap it real quick, you wanna get rid of the fly. One day we'll be good though, look at that. One day, technique. Give us five vlogs. I don't like how it's coming to the screen like that. <laughs> I did this a few moments ago, like a few hours ago, and I hit myself in the left cashew so hard that it incapacitated me for about an hour. So I'm gonna put this folder in my pan. To act as a cup, right? Yes, because I do not own a cup currently. It literally went and nailed my stuff. How long have you guys been practicing doing this? A couple days. Just One day. Light work. Y'all really, been working all these months on boxing. I really practiced it a little. I come out of the cut with skills like this. Oh, oh, what <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me show the window here. All right, I'm good. The AC is probably on. So, pretty much, I always tell people when you're a beginner, just kind of start out slow. Sorry, I just Rob messed up the thing with um, Just kind of start out slow. <laughs> Wait, ready? There we go. Hold on, I got it. Bro. It's just rubber, it can't hurt you. Yeah. It can't. A little harder. Have y'all had, had it hit you in the face? <laughs> <laughs> you taking the punishment. <laughs> there you go. I don't, don't like this at all. Don't turn away from it. You keep looking at it. <laughs> Not be scared of it. Keep your eye on the ball. Hit it before it hits you an eye. Don't Wait. give it a chance to hit you. I don't like the... <laughs> You know what? I'm taking this thing out of my pants. Uh-oh. He's getting serious. Let that anger out. Who wants this? <laughs> Sell that on eBay. 100 bucks. Ooh. <laughs> it is an interesting object. <laughs> <laughs> that just goes to show like, your reflexes, though. All right, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it goes pretty far. Bro, I don't... <laughs> That's good though. I don't even want to get good at this. <laughs> I do not want to get good at this. But it looks like you're having fun. Yeah, well, I'm only doing this for the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I just get in the face again. I you took some again. punishment. Over time, you'll get better. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can close your eyes. <laughs> I'm not closing my eyes. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Just Imagine getting beaten up by a ball. Just got faded though. Oh yes, daddy. Hold a minute, we all did. Mine, you can't tell it's hitting, but whatever. Wait a minute. I got it, just to get more You're like the Karate Kid right now. Or do I? <laughs> you ever done karate in your life? No, never okay. did karate. That looked like pretty good form. I feel like if I really did karate, if I had to get somebody, like I can really. 
I can really chop someone up. That's all I gotta say. With the Rob socks? I slap them in the face like this with the little sock. <laughs> Bro, they won't even know what's coming. Me knowing how to do this on top of it? <laughs> Get out of here. Juggle update. I got so good at it, I just. Yeah, I started juggling everything. Yeah, everything I touched, I just started juggling it because that's how good I was. I was kind of like, I felt like Michael Phelps said during the Olympics, you win every gold medal and then you just retire. You're but you're still at the beginner bowl. And I do these now, boy. That is not fun at all. It's fun when you know how to do this. Then even. I don't even phase me, boy. See, I think my punches are so powerful that it was coming back at me too fast. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I need to practice my power punches. That's <laughs> hitting me. Okay, <laughs> I don't like that thing. <laughs> so, the thing with the juggling is, it's just become so easy to me now, to the point where, I don't know, I don't really have to try anymore and think about it. We're a whole circus in here. But yeah, what, what are we anymore? Look at us, we have, and then we have the freaking upside and the trampolines. <laughs> What are we? And the inversion table? Well, we've really been quarantining though. That's why like, That's we're wild. trying to just make some stuff up at this point. Welcome to the Lolo Circus. And now for the main event. Whoa, look how close we're getting. Ooh. I'm surprised we're not cuffed up. We can do it all. Bro, we can literally do anything. My friends we're over there like think you're cute. All right, my turn. Best juggler gets ten thousand dollars. Ooh, $10. why do you have that out? Read it and wait. Why do you have ten thousand dollars out? You'll find out. Ooh, do a little switcheroo. Everyone makes fun of my form, but it's how I do it. Okay. Well, nobody makes fun of my punching form. <laughs> oh. Wait, see, no, got in the way. <laughs> he got in the way. I was about to do my special move, my finale. <laughs> I feel like you have to hit it. At a certain part of your fist. <laughs> I'm getting better. Getting I was punched through the juggles. <laughs> Easy. Okay. What is happening? That's a special move. Come on. If I could just get it. One second. I don't know how long you can do this for. <laughs> Rob, I'm gonna do it in a second. I don't think I trust Ryan with the thing. But yeah, I'll probably hit you in the face. Like I hit myself. All right, let's see Noah's juggling update. Ooh. I hate this thing. I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> Boxing reflex ball. Y'all actually get it, only 10 yeah. bucks. Oh, what? After we stopped the vlog, that's when I stopped juggling. I think you might just oh. be too buff for the juggling balls I'm now. Just getting too ah. I'm getting tan though. I'm starting to lose my farmer's tan, but I have to. Ooh. I'm not mad. <laughs> I haven't continued to practice, so that's my fault. You do the one hand juggle. Oh, wait a minute. I'll do 20 pushes right now. Though. All right. That'll make up. Yeah. Ooh. But you, you hold it for a second. You go one. Hold it. That form, man. What do you want me to do? Dang. Look at that. Oh. This is a whole Gatorade commercial. All right, I want to break my hand again. Dang, Noah breaks his hand and starts acting different. I really want to get good at this stuff. Right? It's pretty impressive if you're good. I don't know who would be impressed, but I can't. Oh, no, no, there's nobody impressed except for myself. It's how you should live life. You're right. Only impress yourself. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Technique's getting better. Yeah. This is something. I on the ball. Oh, oh. I want to go really hard for no reason. Nah, this is a... Uh... There we go. Wherever your head goes, where the ball goes. He don't stop. That's what I'm saying. Give me two, two more blocks. This is fake, guys. There, I said it, it's fake. I actually had to pay $100. 100? For fake hundreds, I had to pay an actual 100. Imagine actually just having 10 bands, just chilling that. I would've thought that would've been cheaper. I bought it on Hollywood Boulevard. But where they do the movies and stuff. People might be curious. What type of money do we make? I went ahead and looked up your net worth. Mine? Yes. It's online? It's online. Publicly, public information right here. I'd be curious to know. I typed in Rob net worth. You hold down the O and then it comes with a slash. Yeah, everyone's curious on how to do the Rob with a slash with the O. If you're on iOS, you hold down the O and you press six and you click the one with the slash. If you're on Windows, I think it's like, I don't know what it is. You have to copy and paste it from like that. Rob Net Worth. Rob is a YouTube channel that has a net worth of 
three million dollars as of june 2020 as of this month yeah, let's go how much does rob make how do they get this information <laughs> well, i didn't even know that look it's stashsmash.com so very reputable rob is a youtube channel make three million dollars how much money does he make today so far I made $672 today. And then yesterday you made $733. It's kind of lit. Is this accurate? 117.6 million views, 268 videos, one point. Okay, that's not even updated. It's not updated. So you're probably more than 3 million. Yeah, I'm probably probably netted by now. If that was June, what is it? July now, right? Correct. So my net worth probably went up another, I would say 7 million probably net by now. That would make sense. 7 million. I'm gonna look at ours real quick. Love Live Serve Net Worth. Oh yeah, same website, right? Same website. Or this. This is different. This is the top one that came up. Love Live Serve Net Worth, 3.5 million. Love Live Serve is a YouTube channel created by two American guys named Noah Taino and Ryan Burton. They have an estimated net worth of 3.5 million. Look at that, Ooh. highlighted. First off, who is this? <laughs> that, Ryan looks a little different there. I'm looking a little darker there. <laughs> That's supposed to be Love Live Serve? I think I was a little <laughs> drunk that night or something. Yeah. I don't know, but regardless. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. How do you run his website and you and you see this picture? And then you see this one. And this is the headliner photo here too. They started out as 18 year old college film students at Drexel University, whereby Noah Boat is a director and editor of the channel where Rhino produces content for each video. Their content is mainly comedy skits and other variety of entertaining material suitable for a wide range audiences who made this what the heck 3.5 million a year 10k a day 10k a day we're I lit mean, if i made 10k a day yes. <laughs> there's also a program now okay cool 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 awesome together our net is nearly 10 million why are we still living here then that's my question <laughs> something's off here <laughs> either somebody stole all my money <laughs> they took it no boat network you can do it individual wouldn't it just be half oh it just says level of serve same i'm weirded out <laughs> these random websites biography how rich is no boat <laughs> Birthday. Got that right. Um, here we go. You can click on yourself. Whoa, too. what? Birthplace. I got my stats. Net worth. Nobo's net worth is between one and five million. What was that? Oh. Oh, the net worth? Bro, what? Get the virus. Virus. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. Biography. Age. Uh, centimeters height. I don't know. Okay. They got too much info. Kind of scary. I don't like that. Yeah, I got 1.5. Hey. Hey. <laughs> one, one, what does it say? One, one, two, five. Two, five. What type of estimate is that? One, two, five million? Oh, let me look at mine just to see. Rhino net worth. So rhinoceros Might net worth. Rhino. <laughs> Give me a second, here we go. Rhino, how much money does Lulu serve me? Rhino needs to work on his SEO. Hey. Cause there's like multiple Ryan Burtons and there's a lot of rhinos. <laughs> you know what, let's try my actual name. Isn't there a soccer player named Ryan Burton? Mm -hmm. Bro, how do I get more popular than a damn Australian rugby player? Ryan Burton net worth. Whoa, you're on there. I'm the top. Top. Let's go, baby. 1.2 million. Net worth. Let's oh, go. Let's go. Let's turn up. Look at that. Yeah, I took that pick. Hey. This is why does everything have to be about you, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is Rhino's net worth. Rhino's net worth. Let's go. Success. Handsome. Okay. Life and career. Look at all this. Dang, that's actually so cool. Somebody had to type that up. 1.2 million. As of 2019. Come on, update your. We generate about $5,200 per day, which transcends to two million a year from ads. I promise you, we do not make that. Um, maybe if we had kids content, like- Ryan's toys. Ryan's toys reviews, maybe that could be- or like a Collins key. Mm -hmm. But I'm so sorry, that is not what we make at all. Not even a fraction. You would have your, I would have a couple cars by now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. If I had that number. If I was making five grand a day, I'd be in a, Private jet right now. That's actually cool. Bro, this is what I, Australian rules footballer. You need to be right here, not him. Up here is all my stuff. YouTube star. Would we consider ourselves YouTube stars? I think, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a star. I don't know, it's just cause it's just us, so we don't see ourselves like that. We have over a billion views. A billion mm -hmm. views, is that, what makes you a star? Popularity. Right? Because when pe people will say, you're a famous YouTuber. I don't like to say that I'm famous. I feel like Ryan Reynolds is famous. You're a popular YouTuber. Popular YouTuber. Definition of famous. Famous is probably like being known around the world or being well known or something. In that case, but you would be famous. You still fit in that category. Is 10K followers famous? Famous. Known about by many people. That's not, I don't think that's, that's a good so definition. vague. What does it take to be considered famous? Maybe look that up. And there's all different, there's Merriam-Webster. Having a widespread reputation, usually 
of a favorable nature, renowned, celebrated. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find out if I'm famous or not. Known and recognized by many people. That's not good enough, because how many is many? 10K? Yeah, known by many people. I'm Instagram famous. All right, 10K. Widely known, honored for achievement. Bro, these are the worst definitions. Widely known. Urban Dictionary, I think. What if our things are on Urban Dictionary? Love to serve is most underrated. Dead ass? Yeah, look at Love to serve on Urban Dictionary right now. Let's go. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Look at that. That is Love to serve, the most underrated YouTube channel of all time. Consisting of Rhino and Nobo. That's so dope. That's but let's see, uh, Nobo. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Well, Rob, let me see if you have one. Rob. I, well, I obviously don't have one. <laughs> you never know. With your slash. With <laughs> your slash, that ass boy. Look. See, Rob's in here. Look. Are we? I'm trying to figure out if we're famous or not. Can we find that out, please? Well, we're not on Urban Dictionary, so probably not. How to know if... You are famous. This is it. We're gonna break into something. Cause I don't like this, the label of famous. I mean, I've never know. considered myself famous. I wouldn't consider myself, I would say maybe I'm popular on the interweb a little bit. Continued media coverage, especially if national or international. Any indication that your name is a household name, frequently uttered by the public. The press takes pictures of you or asks you questions. Mm. Your name is in print often. Leaders in state or federal government mention you by name. Wikipedia users author a page about you. Endorsements from sponsors continuing to bring you income. You're in commercial or advertisements, you receive royalties for your own work. So it's not saying you have to be all those, like you have to have all those. I think some of them apply. Oh, there's more. That seems like someone who's famous. Right, like if you have the media and paparazzi. I think when you have paparazzi on you, then you're famous. That's like real world famous. Oh, call. Hello? Oh. Oh shoot, okay, oh, yeah. It was probably calling I'm, me too, but. Oh, it was probably, yeah, charging. They didn't have their phones on them, but are they, can they send it up or is it in the lobby right now? Okay, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Is being famous worth it? Answers? I would say yes. The main thing is, well, for us is to help other people. It's leaving an impact before you leave the world. And if you're a famous figure or a public figure, you have that chance to now spread some goodness or help make a new movement for people. And I think you can use your power to the good. So I don't think it's a bad thing, but there's a lot of people that are famous and they use it for bad things. But I think it is worth it if you want to make a nice change in the world. I think any lifestyle you live, a popular one, one where you nobody knows you, one where you're this or that or ugly or pretty, they all come with their own ups and downs. Being not famous, oh, nobody will bombard you or this or that, but you don't get free Chick-fil-A like I always get when I go to places. Rhino? Oh, it's on me. Uh. <laughs> See, like that's that's cool. This one, how does it feel to be famous? Oh, well, you just say we're not famous, so I, we can't answer that, right? Let's say internet famous. I would call myself, what, would I? Would you consider yourself internet famous? YouTube famous? YouTube. Are you a famous YouTuber? Popular. Because the famous, you said, no Hollywood fix or TMZ has taken pictures or any coverage of me. They could give a F mm -hmm. about Noah but walking out of any store. Hey, Noah, what's your thoughts on... I don't even care. <laughs> Nor do they even know who I am. Because we're not in the top tier YouTube list yet. Loveless Surf and Rob are still underrated. Underrated, baby. Underra and we will stay underrated, I think. We're going to hit 10 million subs and we'll still be underrated. I mean, there's YouTube channels I find every day with 20 million, 30 million subs. I never heard of them. So technically, they're underrated too. How does it feel to be famous? Or let's say popular. It's cool. Yeah, I'm just going to ask internet. Right, also. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. You feel like a small celebrity, and sometimes it feels nice when you get your way around people, but sometimes you feel like the most hated person in the world. You know people talk about you behind your back, and you know people aren't genuine when they are nice to your face. Oh, wow. Ooh, they may have different intentions or whatever. I think one, it's cool. It makes me more confident at times. Like I'm like, hey, I'm that guy. I'm that YouTube guy. How does it feel to know that people are having conversations about you probably right now that you have no clue, good and bad? It's kind of cool. It, whether it's good or bad, they're spending time to talk about me right now. You're so relevant. And that. I know I haven't put anything out there that makes me look like a bad person because I'm not a bad person. So if somebody's talking bad or good about me right now, it's like, hey, they could be doing something else, but they're choosing to talk about me. I think the bad part, one of the bad sides to Famous is the whole, we see everything. Like everybody that tries to reach out to us, that comments on our videos, we see it all. And of course, if you're having a bad day and I go 
random video, I could scroll and probably find five bad comments about me. And that mentally can really, really mess you up, which is why I don't really like read some comments after the first day, because I really care about people that come to the video right away. Those are the people that I care about. But mm -hmm. yeah, same thing, I'll post a picture. I'll always get like one, like, your fashion is garbage, change your haircut, da da da, da 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 da. You can't please everybody. Mm -hmm. But I think you get tougher skin going through that. I literally laugh at them like, oh, this, this, this. I got a little thing sent to me. Hey, quick question, is you for real? Cause you seem like the type of to moan when you <laughs> Wait, what? Cause you seem like the type of to moan when you wipe your ass. So you think you better than me cause you ain't responding, huh? Baby back ass tatted so you think you hard but you still a big head looking at Dumb, dumb buttercup baby back Oh, what? <laughs> I saw, I was at the gym and I saw that and I was like, I know, AKA, AKA dumb, dumb buttercup baby back I, I never respond to uh, anybody that says stuff like that. If I see it's like a love comment, like love you, uh, I will respond to that. You see the hate and you see the love too and you can't dig too much into either one of those because the second you start caring about the love, then the hate will affect you more. I, you I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was like, your videos make my day. Or somebody says, you look like a I've heard them both so many times that I've become desensitized to both, which is crazy. Which makes you think, do you want to get more famous so you get the next level feeling? I don't think I would ever want to get to like a JB level of fame or actual A-list celebrity. I don't think I would want to do that. It seems like nice, like, yes. Nah. After experiencing this level, this little tier that I'm on, I like being underrated, doing my thing and having a hardcore kind of support group and I don't like to call it a fan base, but- Community. A community. And they know that I order too much food and never eat it and whatever and don't read the books that I bought. Yeah, no, I like that concept, so. I'm just happy that I'm popular for a good reason, like for filmmaking and storytelling to make powerful pieces of content that brighten up people's day versus like- Being mean and yeah. disrespectful. The videos that we make, make us more famous, but it's not like I have to do anything. I don't know, I'm not I'm not famous for one thing or popular. And I think in today's, I hate to sound like a that guy. In today's society, everyone wants to be famous. Everybody wants to have followers. I wanna get my cloud up, I wanna get this and that, which sounds great in theory. Everybody wants that because it gives you an opportunity to make more money. I don't know, I feel like they wanna be famous for the wrong reasons. Everybody, they just want it for themselves. We're not famous for any wrong reasons, which is why I'm happy. We're, we are popular simply because of our, our own sense of humor and our own beat bop antics. I don't get a rush off of, yes, ha ha, look at all these views. Like, when I see people messaging me or, or getting positive feedback of how people feel about the videos, this really helped me, I was looking forward to this, you guys really taught me, you motivated me to do this or helped me with this. That that's what I do it for. And I think there are people that will still hate on me for that. I'm happy knowing that we affect people in a positive way. I think it's lit being like YouTube popular. Cause if I was a, you know, like a Millie Bobby Brown or something, I couldn't just go outside or go to the mall. We can still go to places and people will come up to us, but they'll also just let us do our thing. I feel like it's dangerous at a certain level. Like when you're the hardcore rapper and you're putting out the different image or oh, lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, like watch your back. You know, I'm still always on my toes, but I can go places and still feel regular all the time. I'm famous as if, I walk anywhere. Here, da, da, picture, picture. And I'm glad that's not what it is. People either know exactly who we are or we're just completely regular schmegler dudes. And that's lit. And how does Rob feel? You guys hit all the points. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I'm that famous. Like I'm barely in the start of my... But what? You in the what? Whoa, what? What is the bloop bloops? Oh, this is all the uh, progress to get there. This is where I want to be, but I'm like barely right here. So I agree with, I don't, wouldn't want to be crazy famous because I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do normally. Were you popular in high school? Might've been popular because I was a dancer and I danced at the pep rallies and stuff and I was a new guy, but I was never popular for like videos or nothing because I didn't really. In amongst high school, like were you in the it crowd? Because there's like the it crowd and then there's the, well, I was in where it was like, I knew everyone was in the it crowd. That was me. I like I wasn't that guy, but I was, everyone knew me. Yep, same. I don't know, cause when I went to senior year at a different high school, so I was a new a new guy. Mm. And that was my first time I went to public school. I don't think I knew what the it crowd was. Really? But I knew that the crowd I was in was it. Really? really? I wouldn't say. I just, <laughs> what? Hey, wait a second. I, I just, didn't know what the it crowd was, but we were kind of the it crowd. But like, if I were to, 
think I would be like the crowd I was in. Were you in the it crowd? I mean, do you know if you're in the it crowd? I just felt like I was in it because I thought it was a cool crowd. I feel like you know if you're in the it crowd. Yeah, you would know. I you feel like know. a lot of people wanted to be our friends and hang out with us, so it's like. But like walking around the hallways. Did know. everyone know you, yes or no? Bro, I would say a lot of people did. How did you get to that level? You know, just the great what? guy that I am, outgoing personality, friends with everybody. Cause I was never about drama or nothing. Like I never care, I still don't care for like drama or this person said that about you or this person is gonna do this. I was always out of that and I just danced. I feel like I started trends in high school. Did you ever start any trends ever? Like, you know, I don't think I did. First YouTuber to graduate high school. All I'm saying is that senior year, Grand Terrace High School, 2013, 2014, I swear I started the jogger. That no one was wearing joggers. <laughs> this was when it came out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hear me out. Generic ass type of pants? <laughs> no, bro. When Nobody it, had. No, no, no. <laughs> when they first. I started wearing socks, bro. bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Bro, when joggers first came out, it was rare to find them in stores. Okay? So I was like, <laughs> I have the joggers, and I was I was like, oh, everyone's like, where'd you get the pants from? I'm like, ah, oh, it's whatever. And then I started seeing everyone. Another thing. <laughs> Kendama, you know how they're cool now? My dance team, we used to do Kendama and stuff. I brought it to school. Next week, all the little kids. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I started that at Grand Terrace, but it is, I don't know. I had the blonde mohawk before Odo Beckham Jr. was a thing, before any of that. I had never seen anyone with a blonde mohawk, mm -hmm. black person, whatever, curly. Hadn't seen that before I did it. I literally got the idea when I was volunteering for this veterans program thing. And I was like, bro, it'd be lit if I had like a mohawk. Next thing you know, Odell comes out and it's his style now. Ah, see, that's what I don't like. So like Odell- He probably saw you like years That's what I'm saying. He, you know Odell saw me. Odell, if you're watching this, bro, I respect you and stuff, but like, you know, give credit where it's due. I think I was the best looking guy in my senior class though. I can confidently say that. I can't say that. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously um, joking, but whatever. <laughs> what I think is interesting now, what do you say to the kids watching this who are not the most popular? They're not in the- It's, it's, a, it's a small group. I was never in the- That's it. what makes you popular, right? You can't, everybody can't be popular. And I think with my school, like, obviously there was the jocks and the football players that uh, they made fun of us. I remember, like, my crew, uh, I was at the leader of our group, but uh, the group I hung out with, we were dancers. And that's what we we're known for on campus is, ooh, those are the dancers. So how did y'all walk around, like, we we had the most style like we had we just had the most swag. Oh, okay Okay, um, I feel like that was a cool group of people But there's also another cool group of the jocks and the oh, they get to date all the cheerleaders I was never in that group and people probably thought they were cool. Yeah, so it's like I don't know I just remember we would dance and the football players would like baker at us like go go so what do you say to the person that has no friends? Rob, well, I'm not a dancer and I don't have drip like you. Or tats. Or 1.7 million subs. What I would say is to boss up. Boss up and be cool. I don't know. I don't know you're a fucking nerd. You loser. I don't know. Boss up, loser. That's why you're at the bottom. You asking dumb questions like that's why you're at the bottom the first. I think what you have to do is be yourself. Ultimately, you want to always be yourself. And find a group of people that have the same sort of interests as you and you can really share ideas with and hang out with and talk about different concepts together because I feel like the reason why we were cool, if I was just the only dancer on campus, I wouldn't be cool. But if me and the other dancers grouped up and we're like, yeah, we're the cool group now. So I think that it's capable for anybody to like, if you like play Tetris, like find other people that like to play Tetris and y'all are the coolest Tetris group. Like what you said there made me think of something. Somebody who's not popular might think, oh, well, I want to be popular, right? Isn't that what's a desirable feeling that be wanted and well, desired? Everybody wants that's to a, be liked. And being popular comes with a lot of being likes. Liked, yeah. However, if you're the cool guy, and, uh, cool Rob, and I'm like over I'm here, with my friends, and I'm trying to be cool. Hey, what's up, Rob? We all cool. That's not you. You're being somebody that you're not, and that's not a fun experience. If I tried to be a dancer. Wait a minute. If I tried to be a <laughs> dancer, a um, <laughs> it's not me, so I wouldn't be happy. And let's say I even got cool. Wouldn't you rather be not popular and be happy? It's better to be hated for being yourself mm -hmm. than loved for being someone you're not. I feel like everybody has their own cool. Like everyone is cool in their own way and they just have to be confident in that. And they have their own group. In their own group. There's a group for everybody. That's why you see the track people get along, the drama play people, the dancers, the football players, the soccer players. Everyone's got their own cliques. And in high school, and even in college to some extent, not in ours, but there is a whatever it crowd. I promise you every person that was popular in my thing. Yeah, where are they now? Where are they now? I don't think they have six million subs. I'm the most popular. All the guys that got all the girls at your thing. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the guys that got the most girls at your high school that were the job and the most popular guys, yeah. where are they now? Probably working at Taco Bell or something. I don't know. Any group you're in would be like the cool group. Like say if I like to play chess and I hang out with a lot of my chess friends, like that's cool, right? That's cool to you because mm -hmm. you like to do that. This is my cool group. And maybe the dancers and the jocks, the football players, maybe that's the weird group to them. Maybe it's all mm -hmm. perception. Perception is everything. Life is but high school. You're either a nerd or a jock. Exactly. Oh. I think the bottom line is don't be somebody you're not. There's no sense in it. all that trying to be the coolest person in high school will be for nothing because those people don't end up being the ones that are the most happy, successful, beautiful, whatever yeah. in the long run. There's no point into doing that because I feel like we've all kind of gone through that before trying to be somebody we're not, trying to fit in, trying to join this group. Mm -hmm. An example for me is like my YouTube channel. Like the first videos I posted, I didn't know who I was, who I wanted to be. I just watch YouTube videos. I'm like, I'm going to act like that because that <laughs> seems cool. He's getting views. So I would be, what's up? Hey, he, whoa. And it's like, what was that last one? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> that's just an, a, a small example of not being yourself. What are you? <laughs> Boy, if you don't get, and that was <laughs> he was getting all serious, and I got I got distracted. Yeah. That's it, pretty much. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, it's late. Like I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's just have a whole vlog of just silence. I really want to sit and stare for an hour. We should do it, us three, on the couch. Oh, um, with each other? Not right now, but we'll do it. We can do it. We can't bring like a, three girls or something. Three girls? <laughs> Staring at girls for an hour. Like what? Each of us gets a girl. Okay. We should do the thing where you have a girl, but you just look at somebody for like 20 minutes and then you say like, what you got out of that. Yeah. Those are cool. Wait, let's, let's do that. Somebody, invite like some... somebody you rarely know. Like, hey, I'm doing this fun little experiment. Just come over. Don't let's even do try to know much about the person. Who knows any girls? Do y'all know girls? That live in California. Everyone I try to talk to doesn't. No one hit me hits back. me back up. All right, no one knows somebody. If we get WhatsApp. Wait, wait, Tinder. Tinder. Let's get a Tinder. If we get Tinder. Increase the radius. Ages. MILFs. MILFs only. That's we invite thing. older women over. Let us know if you guys would like to see that. This is what we're thinking. Post a lot on the vlog channel. That's what we're thinking. I don't know if you guys want to see it. We that. some longer videos. Yes longer no. videos. How long do you want these vlogs to be? Because mm -hmm. I seen I seen some people in there that didn't really like the vlogs. So it's like, I don't know if we should like just quit right now. There was like one person. I saw one like one comment saying like, oh, these vlogs are boring. So I was like, I was saying we should just quit. Oh no, why are we? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Let me spaz on one of y'all real quick because for the most part we get amazing feedback on this channel it's a simple channel yeah simple we're no so, stress just we just eat. look at we're, this is what we eat <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, talking I'm trying to keep it raw and authentic this is what you this is how i'm living you get and, to see the real breathing and this is literally how we are like no facade no special camera tricks no funky crazy editing we don't put on any show because we're doing this out of pure enjoyment and trying to give y'all some real world how we actually are. We were never those people to even be in the first place. My whole life I've been like the most chill, mellow dude. That's how I'm gonna be when we do this vlog channel. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to get all hype on this channel, so. Here's why I wanted to pop off. I saw a comment. Most of the time, the comments are amazing. We get amazing feedback. There was one comment. I don't really like the sit down talking vlogs because they're a little boring and I want more fast paced. <laughs> Real quick, does anybody like not like cutting their pancakes or waffles and just rips them with their fingers? I think I do this with every waffle I've ever gotten. You're a savage. I I don't like cutting them. Just We're gonna have to them. have the vlog. Discussion. That's for another video. Does nobody else just do this. No, obviously not in front of the adults. This is um. No way is ripping the waffle with this, his hand. I do this with every waffle. Like I get tired of the. You cut your waffles, or, you, or do you not cut waffles? Some people just. Oh, yeah, I did not know this about you. You've ripped a waffle before. I think when You've I was never a kid a or something. Waffle. What's wrong with ripping a waffle? It's a quicker. That was quick. Nah, you see how long that took? That was like 15 seconds. So at that point, you can just eat your cereal like this. No, because you don't have to break up the cereal. The cereals aren't in little pieces. This waffle comes as a huge piece of food. Oh, I guess. This is good though. <laughs> Crave Cafe, shout out to them. They up till 2.30 every day. How about this comment? It was from a little girl. 12 or something. This one here is Cindy Lou Who. I don't like the, the sit down talking vlogs. They're kind of boring and stuff. <laughs> Goodbye. Listen, I know you're like a baby and you want to look at the bubbles and blah, blah, blah. This, maybe, maybe this isn't the channel for you. There were just three dudes duding it up. I'm sorry. I, oh, Wimpy! I can't put on no Mickey Mouse fun house for you. There are other channels on the platform that do stuff like that. Watch Ryan's toys reviews. Go watch the main channel. That's why we do the crazy quality over there. But if you want to see people go, oh, and scream, then go and do that because I promise you they're out there. We will never be that. Even on the LLS, when we start, like I was told to have super high energy years ago. Yeah, that was the norm. That was the norm. As we get older, we decide how we want to act. I can't do that. <laughs> 
Gang! 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 Brr, bow, bow. Today, we are to... Bro, there are some YouTubers that are so loud. 4,000 words come out of their mouth in 10 seconds. And I don't know what they said. This channel, the people watching this right now, the ones that are currently watching this, y'all are smart enough to absorb what we're saying. Because we try to put some Easter eggs in here and give our thoughts on important topics. This ain't no ring around the rosy duck duck goose talk. We're trying to give actual adult grow it was upsetting to me that she couldn't appreciate a honest conversation an honest talk that we were trying to give to help people i just want to see this and that and ten thousand dollars this challenge and that i rarely get worked up from comments you like me famous now that's one of the reasons one of the big downsides is dealing with buffoonery in the comment section because i read the comments we all do hey let me know if anybody you like like hot food? I dare one of y'all to get a Texas beat hotter hot sauce. Took me a year to get my taste buds to adjust to this. This stuff is crazy hot, but nobody out there. You got a whole load of them here too. I'm, no one's I'm, a CEO of Changing Subjects. <laughs> I'm excited for what's to come on the vlog channel. Venturing out, introducing new characters, new people, maybe a girl or two. It'll be a lot of fun, and we'll, we like doing the sit down, talking, informational videos. Sorry, and we still trampolining too. What YouTuber do you know that has a trampoline? Okay, well probably a few of them. <laughs> These YouTubers be, what's gonna, we're gonna do the $10,000 trampoline challenge. The first jump gets $10,000. Whoa. You should do the ball and trampoline at the same time. The what? Headball and trampoline. Oh, hell no. Nah.